Mass Effect Legendary Edition, proudly brought to you by Bioware. This is a game that has been in the making for quite a while, folks. And it's a remastered edition, so we are looking forward to it for 2021 in the year of spring. We are definitely looking forward to it. Thank you, EA Bioware, for remaking this lovely franchise. It's a decade's worth of work that's been relived again. So, relive the vet legend in 2021 in spring. So, folks, it's Edward Revan here. I just want to start off with saying, Hi, hey, everyone, it's great to see you. And, well, let's talk and gossip. So, today it's been a very interesting day. I have to admit, I don't know what to really tell you about. Um, Twitch and DMCA in a huge nutshell because I'll be honest with you, the terms of service and everything in Twitch is getting updated all the time and at, at the same time the, the DMCA stuff is really coming down hard every time um, on Twitch and it's always been awesome back negotiation update, negotiation update um, I lost track. But as a Twitch streamer, this is something you have to be aware. Number one rule. Sleeping on the stream is a no-no. It is a bannable offense. It can lead to losing your account. And at the same time, in the worst case scenario, you'll lose... Hmm. You'll lose a lot of things involved with this. Even though the funny side of, of people sleeping on the stream, I myself have done it and others, but let's just say that if the streamer is actually AFK and didn't realize, realize that the stream is restreaming again offline without their knowledge, then that has to be dealt with. I have seen a couple of people already uh, about this and it has to stop. It's important. It has to stop now. Because I'm a member of many streaming groups and a group of friends of mine have approached myself and others warning us about this you know, new development. And I just said to myself, I haven't slept in my stream for a while. And then goes like, no, but in the past you did. This is just a heads up, letting you know, moving forward, that if you do, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, I've learned the hard way of being told, being shamed a bit. Don't get me wrong, people may laugh and laugh and tease me about sleeping on the stream or anything like that. But, unfortunately, to which it said, Sorry guys, that's enough. It is time to chop chop. It is kind of time to time out. And it's time to say sayonara. Because if you keep doing it and using our resources just to sleep on the stream, we may as well have better content out there for people who actually are live streaming. And that's probably the other way of trying to reinforce it. And it may not be the angle, but I understand why they're doing this. And I have to admit, the funny side is this. People may have thought they have turned off their computers properly, and all of a sudden the machines boot up, and they're automatically broadcasting with stream. I have to admit, I'm very fascinated with it. I don't know how they do it. But it just doesn't make sense. But so here I am going like, hey, it's neat. You know, like, I just don't need to stream. You know, I don't have to be there physically to turn it on and do it all. It sounds awesome. Maybe I should macro, macro my keyboard and do it automatically from my tablet and just tell it, say, wake up, computer. <laughs> That's a joking sense of humor right there. But the thing is that, unfortunately, Twitch has turned around and like, no. It is unfortunate, but it is right. The other thing that um, I 
am a bit more concerned about is about the use of copyright material. Now copyright material is like for example like images like these posters behind me or movies, anime, stuff like that and reusing it for your own channel if you don't have authorization then that's a big problem. If you do have authorization for those images that's okay. Now for example the Bob's logo, the Cog's logo, Bone, the Mace Legends and other things that I use is allowed because I'm a member of the streaming communities or gaming communities. So with that being said, be very careful. Alright? Just be extremely careful. Um uh, how you represent yourself for those groups too. Now, I will put my foot down and tell you that it is not a good thing, guys, that if you are told off by another streamer that, hey, they're using my content, or an artist and stuff like that, and they turn around and say, hey, you use my content, where's my um, terms and conditions and agreement? Well, they want approval. Uh, they want to sign the approval from them to you. So if you don't get an approval in writing, then don't show it at all. Now for example, if there is a video clip, okay, on YouTube that shows different videos of a tribute to say like Sean Connery or Chadwick Boseman or anything like that, I did a couple of tribute videos for them um, in my streams and I thought it was like, you know, good to remember who they were and what they were. And, you know, to be honest with you, it's good. It's a good feeling. But, unfortunately, when you read these terms and conditions that um, we've seen right now, it looks like that you can't really do that unless you had that in writing. Kind of messed up, isn't it? So it's a right in a way but wrong in a way because you need to get the approval in writing in order to you know to show the content no brainer but it's a pain in the ass but another thing is that if you have existing avatars or icons and things like that is not yours it should be someone else's remove it also, get it updated and replace it with your own. Um, there's a one time I did with um, the animal's hand, like this one here, like for example. Whoops. Here, but the animal's hand, for example, right? So here I am, and I take a photo and go like, yay, and have a smile and everything like going on, and have it as a light icon. That was a good example of using that as my custom tier one icon now unfortunately it's been pushing me harder and harder and harder to try and make something better in my streams as a content creator it's hard to be creative and it's hard to make something new all the time graphics designers out there uh, there is a wealth of knowledge out there that some people are willing to be paid for thirty dollars or something like that just to make a new avatar for yourself. And hey, if it's worth it, go get it. I recommend it home ten percent. Um, get your own customized one. Like for example, deliberately take a photo of your face, tell them what you want to look like, and then see what happens. And if you like what they gave you, hey you the well draw your uncle, right? So, sometimes, the things I've seen in this game for Twitch versus DMCA guidelines is a pretty shady area. The trouble is with Twitch and DMCA is that it's not clearly written. Did you hear what I just said? not clearly written because it implies that something can be broken in the whole process 
The trouble is, though, let's just say um, computer game music. If the computer game music is copyrighted and you get flagged for that, who's to blame for it? Well, I'll tell you who. The streamer is the one who gets blamed for it because that is copyright material and they don't have written permission to play that game online. Even though if you legally own the game, and that's a bigger problem, if you legally own the game and say, hang on, I paid the game, bought it from the company, and I'm playing this game from my stream, everything, so you're telling me I can't play the game? Well, the truth is this. You can play the game without the music. Funny that, eh? You can play the game, but without the music. So, what you're saying is that we're going to have a silent stream. Yeah. That's one hell of a silent stream. What's worse, though, is that Twitch has mentioned about sleeping on the stream. I know. I've done it. And some others have. But, let me just say this. If you're nodding off like that on your stream, stop the stream. Give the raid to somebody else, log off, and get the rest. Because what is the worst thing you can do is that if you fall down your stream, fall down in your stream, or fall asleep in your stream, and get banned for it. Because I will admit, Falling asleep in your stream is a bad thing. It really means that you really need to do something about it. Okay? Um, falling asleep, asleep in your stream is not a good thing. Because you're using Twitch's resources and it's considered a waste of time. Um, there are people out there who honestly didn't realize Oh crap, I shut down my machine. I thought I had ended my stream. You did, by the way. But unfortunately, when you shut down the computer, something happened. Your computer rebooted and restarted your stream, your OBS, and started streaming. Uh, <laughs> so, um, my advice is this when you're finishing your stream, end it. Close the application, restart the computer first, then shut it down properly, so that you don't have to worry about that again. I have seen people do it many times, actually, unfortunately, and I'll say this. There have been three people that I know in the stream groups I'm with that have done it, and I have approached them. Letting them know that I was trying to get their attention to let them know that their stream was live and they should have turned off the computer. Oh well. That's um, the downside of it all. The other thing I can say to you now is how do we move on from here? Well, just remember. But back in the old days, when you would copyright material like music and that, when music and videos were available to be copyrighted, remember back in the days with cassette tapes, or audio cassette tapes, you were able to duplicate them, right? Because you have the master and the secondary one, the side-by-side -side tape player. Um, when VCRs came out, you were able to have two VCRs, and one plays, one records. And when a DVD came out, DVD plays, VCR records. Um, then when DVD recording was available for computers, you were able to rip from a DVD or Blu-ray and reconvert it to a video format and then create your own DVDs and Blu-ray. There is also... Um, back in the old days in terms of peer-to-peer -peer programs like Napster, Kazaa, IMS and all that that you were able to download music and movies and as technology evolved people 
became too self-reliant on piracy. And piracy blew out of the water. And that's why nowadays that the governments are doing a tougher crackdown on piracy. And, well, they're starting to succeed now. So eventually the good times of downloading stuff that you do for fun there will be no more. Which would be a real shame, really. It really will, will be. Um, but in terms of Twitch and DMCA guidelines, the problem with music and movies and anime is that if you don't own it, don't broadcast it. Because it, you'll be queried and fined if you don't uh, give them an answer. An answer. Okay? So, let me just ask you this question. What's really important to you? Your Twitch channel or your life? Well, to tell you the truth, I would shut down my Twitch channel and avoid DMCA guidelines if you cannot handle this, the copyright issues. The thing is that if you have a 20 to 30 second intro video uh, for awesome shout out of whoever it is and play short themes on that, that is considered to be against the rules. Um, they were not flagging it for now, but I mean like because of how short it was, but at the same time though, you have to be mindful that it can lead to that decision. So right now, what I'm suggesting to you is that be vigilant with your decision making. So, I think overall that the whole franchise is becoming better and better, but the DMCA is really killing it. <sighs> hmm. But yeah, it was one of those things. So, what I suggest you do is that take a step back, rethink about the content you're doing, and be careful how you do it. I would not risk myself on a stream and fall asleep. I would not risk myself playing music on a stream as considered inappropriate or against the guidelines. And use it against the stream. If your music gets flagged at one point, at any point in the streams that you're doing now, do yourself a favor, act on it quickly, get rid of it, to prevent from your channel. Because right now, they're working on it, and they're pretty damn serious about it. So, Fines do apply, permanent bans could happen, things could happen. Just do yourself a favor. Don't let it happen to you. That's what I reckon. So stay safe out there and try and take it easy, alright? But, um, yeah. This is how I feel about the uh, Twitch and DMCA guidelines. Just be careful what do you say on there, what do you broadcast on there, just be yourself on your streams. Yeah, look, I mean, like, the in-game sounds will be knocked back, but, that may be, but if there is a case for music, if not, that's great. And if you do themes, like songs for, like, say, um, World of Warcraft, like I did for, recently, uh, for the Alliance and that, um, it was actually pretty good, but, yeah, just be careful, some games out there may have copyright material, and you'll be asked to, you know, um, cough up payment for it, or permission for it, <laughs> that's right, that happens, alright folks, this is just me, um, doing a quick uh, revising and summary for the Twitch and DMC guidelines and how it can affect you as a streamer. 
Just be careful from now on. This stuff is being real, but I'm And stay safe out there.